Hello and welcome back to the Brandon Kinwin channel. It's nice to see you guys again. What's up? <laughs> Bowser Koopa from Super Mario Bros. You know him. I know him. Everyone loves him. Well, Bowser in the games tend to come in all different kinds of shapes and sizes, right? And there are quite a few times where he is fucking gigantic. I mean, the plot of Super Mario Galaxy 2 was that he was really big, I think. I think that was the plot. He kidnapped Peach and... I don't know, I never beat Galaxy 2. Well, um, I decided to buy something yesterday and uh, I'm going to review it today. That thing is this. <clears throat> Peaches. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Nintendo made a Bowser Lego statue. Now, I know I'm extremely late to this, but that's because I didn't have money when it came out. Now I'm actually making money again, so I decided to get this. I went to Dave and Buster's with a friend the day before I'm recording this, and uh, there was just too many signs that I should get it. So uh, that's what I did. So let's do a quick little box review, and then I'm going to open it and build it, and then we'll finish the video there. I also want to apologize for the bad audio because I had a I have a little mic thing, but I can't find a micro SD card, so unfortunately I cannot use that for this video. So from the box we get um, we get Bowser, and he has a little podium that he stands on. On the side here we got another cool pic of Mr. Koopa himself, and then on the back I think this is the scale of how big he actually is. The statue and then some poses and things you can do that's really cool and then, i don't know what this is some sort of weird blueprint of some kind it's not very good but yeah this is the mighty bowser i'm very excited to start building it is 2807 pieces and it um is 269.99 before tax so it's not cheap. It's kind of funny, it's a Mario one, but it says 18 plus down here. But that's probably because of the pieces and stuff. So I'm sure this won't take me that long. I'm sure it'll only take me like, just like two hours maybe to build this thing. And then I think it'll be good. So I'll cut to when I'm done uh, building this guy. It took way more than just a couple hours. So as you can tell, it is now nighttime. <laughs> I finally got it put together and it is fantastic. But before we go over that, let's talk about the booklet. <laughs> because I didn't think this would have what the question block had, which is, this is the booklet itself is kind of a collector's piece because if you go look in it, it has like a little bit of history behind like um the making of the lego bowser you got a little history of bowser himself throughout the years there's a, some pages on his underlings like the couplings and stuff um and yeah all the lego bowser merchandise that they have really cool so if you do get this, be sure to hold on to this because this is a dope collector's item as well. So if you got this or you got the question block, be sure to hold on to those books. Now let's talk about how long it took me. So I decided it'd be fun if I put the stopwatch on my phone and just had that going while I was building. And then whenever I went to take a potty break or I went to eat dinner, I paused the stopwatch. For someone who builds Legos only on occasions, it will take you probably around 10 and a half hours if you're doing it like that. If you plan to build it in the course of a couple days, then, you know, yeah. But if you want it like the day you get it, you should get it early because it's going to take some time to build this thing. If you're a pro at building Legos, then you'll have it ready in no time. Me, 
I have like two Lego bus and I have the Lego Mario Cube question block. If you want me to talk about that, I will. But yeah, uh, this guy's a big boy. He's a heavy boy and he is a cool boy. So without further ado, let's go grab him. All right, so before I get the Koopa King himself, let's talk about the first piece which is this night this neat little platform that he stands on it's really cool if you look at it there's like little cracks that, that are in here you got two cool pillars spilling fire and then you're, you put bowser here then underneath here if you're playing the little mario game because the lego mario kind kind of game thing that you can do it actually interacts with this bowser too so let's say you have the Bowser Castle set. If you want to do an extra challenge with your little Lego Mario dude, you can add this after that. So you can have a Super Mar new Super Mario Bros. U moment there. Uh, I'm not sure what the Pell Block does to affect anything, but yeah. So all I know when it comes to that portion, honestly, the Lego Mario game part of things, is that it does work with it. I just don't know how. <laughs> so that unfortunately we cannot go over in this review, but yeah, this is the first thing you end up building. And when I first saw it, I was like, uh, it looks cool, but I kind of didn't want it. But then I built it and it looked really cool. So I was like, oh, actually I kind of do want it. But yeah, it's definitely everything. The Bowser and this were both way bigger. Let me actually do that way bigger in person than what it looks like in the pictures so yeah really i love this this looks dope but this is the only complaint i have about this i can't only say good things about this because i have to remind you guys i'm not sponsored by lego or nintendo i literally bought this because i just wanted it um these fall over really easy they, they come off, you saw I was repairing this one. They fall off real easy. And that's mainly because of how you're supposed to place them down and how they're designed and stuff. And I really don't, I can't find a way to work around it. Maybe, I think there's like some glue people get for like Legos and stuff. Maybe if you can glue that on, you know, especially if you don't care about the Mario game because I think this one has a little power block like I mentioned. And that has something to do with the Mario like game. So if you don't care about that, then get some, I don't know, Lego glue or whatever you want to call it, and you're good. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the king of the Koopas himself, the mighty Bowser. Look <laughs> at this. Oh my god, dude, duh. He's so cool. This guy turned out so great. And it reminded me like my favorite part of building like these Lego sets is just seeing it come together and like you start at a point where it's like, what the fuck is this? Like, what am I putting together right now? And then you put like, together more parts and then you're like, oh, this is the, this is like the chest. And then, oh, that's, that's the arm and that's the tail. You know, it, when it starts coming together, it's really cool. But yeah, so Bowser's really dope. He has like you can move his arm all the way around like that oh 360 degrees it can move up like that down like that his hands really don't do much unfortunately but you can move like the thumbs and you can kind of move the fingers a little bit yeah his legs don't move that much but they do kind of you can kind of see like his legs kind of do kind of they kind of move but like but like not really and his tail flops around as well. You have a little floppy tail. Uh, here's how he looks from the back. Building the shell was probably actually my favorite, was one of the coolest parts. I think it looks super dope. The only thing I love is the eyebrows. You can really change his expression. Like now he looks kind of worried. He doesn't really look super, he doesn't look angry. He looks kind of scaled. Oh no, what's going on? Dang those plumbers! Ah, ah, my plan is ruined. Ah. 
there's one more feature I actually didn't know about. And that is this. When you move his head up, it fires a little tiny fireball. See that little fireball? Or, or if you don't want to use that, you can also pose his mouth. Kind of. It doesn't really stay open, but... Yeah, I guess the main feature... This thing just kind of slides on in, <coughs> in his mouth. And then you close it. And then whenever you open it, it just fires out. And I didn't even know that was a thing. I, I honestly didn't. So this guy is really cool. I mean, he's, he is hefty. He is not a light guy. He feels, he feels expensive. And that's exactly what some people would say when they find out that this guy is $269.99 before tax. So let's put him on the podium and then we will, I'll come to my conclusion on this guy. Do I believe that the Mighty Bowser is worth pretty much with tax $300? I honestly do. It's a really cool display piece, especially if you're a huge Nintendo fan. It's very hefty. It feels expensive. It has a lot of work to do. You know, there's a lot of work put into it. But you could tell they really put a lot of love and care into making this thing a reality and it really it just makes Bowser shine I, and I really like it and it's definitely something I don't regret purchasing and yeah it'll be in the background of some of my videos you might not be able to see it because it'll be behind me but I do plan having future videos I do have another review similar to this coming soon so if you liked this review, uh, this is something new, I've never done anything like this, uh, be sure to subscribe. So yeah, the review is pretty much over, there's just a few more things I want to just kind of bring up slightly. And one is, thank you guys for people who saw my last video on vo doing voice impressions, for your honest takes. And I'm glad, I've, I've, I guess I've, the feedback I've gotten from that is that I'm good at the villains for some reason. And, and even though I just, those are like new voices that I've learned and I'm good at Luigi, which I kind of figured, but you know, yeah. Uh, if you have not seen that video, please do check it out. It's like, I think less than 10 minutes long and just leave your honest feedback there. But anyways, that aside, um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell when you do. Check out my second channel. I have an update video coming out very soon. And uh, yeah, so long and good night.